Hello everyone, welcome to the Tudor Learning Center. This is JD Tudor, and I'm here to teach you the understanding powers of 10. Okay, as you know, in our last video, this is part two, uh, everybody across the nation is out from the coronavirus, all the students are out. So uh, the fifth graders, a lot of them have gotten the iReady grade five mathematics packet, at home activity packet, and that's where we are right now. We are on page five. All right, so let's look here. I am going to actually start, I have one through 12 here on page five. I'm actually gonna start at number seven for now, and then we'll jump back up to the top, and there's kind of a reason for that. But uh, all right, so let's work with uh, multiplication first. Okay, uh, a lot of kids have an uh, easier time with multiplication than division, so we're gonna go with that first. All right, so let's look at this, uh, number seven. All right, I think it's easier, so, 0.3 times 10. I think it's easier if we do the tens at the top first um, because uh, that's just the easy way um, instead of having to do it a, a ton of a long way down. So, um, so let's go with 10 at the top first. 10 times 0.3. All right. And so we're going to multiply across 3 times 0. 3 times 1 is 3, and we can stop there because we don't even have to worry now about the 0. If it was reversed, we'd have to worry about the 0 and put all zeros at the bottom. So we don't have to worry about that. So now there's one decimal point here. So this is a whole 30, 30 as a whole. So we start from the back and go one decimal point here. So this is going to be number 7 uh, is going to be 3.0 which is going to be three. All right, so let's move on now that we've gotten that out of the way. All right, so 10 squared, 10 squared is 100 times 0 0.3. It's three times zero, three times zero, three times one is three, and move it over one decimal point here because you have your decimal point one space over here. Move it over here. And that's going to be 30. Give you the answer 30 on number eight. All right, let's go a little bit quicker here for time constraints. Uh, 10 cubed is 1,000 times 0 0.3. So that's 3,000 and with one decimal point over because there's one here, decimal place here. All right, and that's going to equal 300. All right. So number 10, so 10 squared is going to be 100 times 0.03, and that's going to be 300, and move it over two spaces, one, two, because there's two spaces here, and that's going to be three, and 10 times 10, so 10 squared is going to be 100 times 0.03, and that's going to be 300. There's three decimal places here, one, two, three. So that's how many we're going to move it. One, two, three. So equals 0.3. And that's going to be number 11. And 10 cubed, which is 1,000 times 0 0.3. And that's going to be 3,000 and two decimal places, one, two at the bottom there. So one and two equals 30. All right. And that's it for multiplication. See how easy that was? Kind of speedy but efficient. All right. So now let's get to the kind of the harder ones a little bit. Uh, they're not really kind of that hard, actually. So uh, let's do six divided by 10. Okay, so all the numbers on this side, on the left, are always going to be inside. All the numbers on the uh, right here are always going to be on the outside here, okay? So 6, we got 6 on the inside, 10 on the outside. Now 10 can't go into 6. Uh, there are two things, we're stuck right now, so two things. So I'm down the outside. 